Hello everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video guys, I'm going to show you how you could solve the problem related to 100% disk usage. So, first of all, you need to understand why 100% disk usage is happening. There, are, there might be three reasons behind the issue in your computer. First, when your computer is starting, you are running too many programs and your, compu your computer disk or hard drive doesn't have enough speed to cover everything. Let's say you have 5,200 RPM around per minute and you are running dozens of heavy softwares which is slowing down and making 100% disk usage. The second problem might be related to Windows running a lot of applications in the background and reducing the performance of your computer. The third is that there are a lot of errors in the registry which might lead to this problem. Personally, I have tried, I had these three issues before and I have resolved each one of them and after that my performance went better. However, I have decided to upgrade to an SSD to, 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 to not have to deal with it anymore. So, to check first what applications are running on the background, we click on the taskbar using the right button of the mouse and we select Task Manager. If the view doesn't look like this, don't worry. It's just maybe you are having the few details, so just click on more details. We will go to performance, and here we will check the performance of our disk to see if we have 100% disk usage. In your case, it must be the case, so you go to processes. You click on disk to, to bring you up the, the, the heavy applications. Once you have identified the application which is over consuming your computer, you just select it and you click end task. This should finish task. However, please note that there are some tasks which are related to Windows system and which cannot be finished. For example, here we have this simple application. I can just click end task and it should be over. However, Windows might run or encounter an error and tell you that this application cannot be stopped. Hence, you will have to find an alternative. Second thing is that is that there are a lot of applications running on the same time. So you will have to go to start up and you check every application and you just select. For example, Microsoft OneDrive, it has startup impact very high or high and status enabled. We will just select this application and we will disable it. If you have too many softwares, just go ahead and disable one by one. This will not disable the software from running, but it will stop it from starting when Windows starts. So to start, once you have disabled any program, if you want to use it, you can just go click on the icon of it and it will run out as normal. Once you are done, you just close it and it will not run when you start your computer. The next thing which, which you can also do to get rid of this problem, if these two steps did not, they did not solve your issue, you will go to services. In the search tab, you type services, you open services, and you can check each service which is running and you can Google it and see if it needs to be running or not. Please note that there are applications or services which doesn't need to be running on the background. For example, if you have the Xbox running on the background, you can just go ahead and select Disable and click Apply and click OK. This will disable some of the services. You can do this with every application which is not considered critical for Windows running. So I invite you to go ahead and to, the, to Google those which you see running in your, in your computer services because it might vary from computer to another and to disable those which you do not need. If all of this still did not solve the issue of 100% disk usage, then the last option for you will be that you upgrade to an SSD. Apparently, or as per my experience, since I have upgraded to an SSD, I had never encountered again the 100% the disk usage. If you still need help or assistance, please just leave us a comment or just write us an error code if you're getting any and we'll do our best to help you. If you would like, you can always press like or dislike if you didn't like this video. You can always share with your friends if you would like to share with them if you find this video useful. And if you would like to receive our support, you can always subscribe to get our latest videos and also to get our help. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon in a new video tutorial.